your girl really got the tat of your face. So I very much got his face tatted on my neck. Um, it was my idea. The only tattoos that I have on my body is literally his name and his face. And I think it's so fire because like, why not? Because like when you love somebody, like yeah, you'll really. literally just do anything. She's so real. Yeah, so, I really yeah. I love you. I love you too. Hey, what's it gonna take to for a guy to see you naked tonight? Um, it's gonna take nothing because I don't these ratchet ass all about my business. ATA shit, PKG. You feel me? Why I'm you gotta talk like that. Honestly, prison wasn't that bad. Um, I had two girlfriends. I was getting fucked. I had the time of my life. What there. Do you mean you were getting fucked. Yeah, I was getting fucked. How? <laughs> um, dude, but they made a strap on with like socks and like what's that thing? That they wrap it from like the kitchen. Um, Saran wrap. Yeah, they, they made a fucking dildo with it. And I was sneaking you to were her. Getting fucked with socks and. Yo, what's wrong <laughs> with you? You already know, baby. I'm not doing no fucking two years without getting sex. Are you dumb? Like, I, I went in there. I was like, it's either I'm gonna fuck the guards or I'm gonna fuck the inmates. And the inmates came first. So I was like, what's good? <laughs> Yo, I really thought I was gonna have a cell phone and everything in, in prison. I thought I was gonna be on live every day. Still running my only pants and it just didn't happen. Um, you got tattooed on your hand? Uh, yeah, Joyce. <laughs> so the fact that you remember that. I yeah. just remember you calling me and telling me, like, I have a girlfriend. I'm like, what do you mean you have a girlfriend? I had two. I had two. I had And she was like, little. yeah, she's in here for, like, murder. I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> like, you just don't learn. You go from, like... I used to make $13,000 a year working in nursing homes. And ever since I got fired, because the nurses wanted to watch my adult entertainment on the clock... I've been making $13,000 in a week or less, so thank you. Did you have any other girls that happened to you or the one? Yeah, I just learned to recognize, it's like, you just learn to recognize the sign quicker. Uh, okay. But you know, as a man, when I was single, it doesn't mean that I disqualified her from sex. It just means that's what it was and that's all it was. What, what signs for guys that are watching this, like mm -hmm. what signs should they look out for? Man, that's a, I mean, I'm gonna, yeah, tattoos would be a pretty big sign. Mm -hmm. um, just any, like, I'll tell you why tattoos are a big sign. You might say, well, that's not nice because I have tattoos. I'll tell you why it's a big sign because okay. if you had a good relationship with your dad, he would not let you get tattoos when you were 18. No, that's what that's it what, means. That's what, that's why I don't have tattoos. <laughs> right? Because, yeah. like, that's literally, it's like it just tells me you don't have a good relationship with your yeah. dad, which it doesn't mean for everybody, but it raises those numbers. There's, there's obviously, um, the thing about social intelligence, it's very hard to describe it because it's so nuanced. Mm -hmm. Like, and you really have to sort of, um, conflate a big number of variables all into one, and that's what comprises like the social intelligence thing. So it's hard to say like, oh, because of this and this and this. So, so <laughs> I have to do this video because I'm seeing that y'all putting this edited target picture of me looking like a motherfucker. Where? What are so, we doing? Know, saying, do showing off our body on social media like this, this influencing this children to do the same up. thing so, with yeah, tons now, of tattoos. I know a bitch gained some weight. You know what I'm saying? Because I have to make the thighs match the mother ass. You know what I'm talking about? But I know, I know you ain't talking when y'all shaped like seals, and I know you ain't talking when y'all got sisters with bison backs and your mothers is shaped like walruses. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all ain't body shaming me. Now I know I gained a little weight. Hold on, I'm 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 actually holding it in because I ate breakfast, lunch, and I ate some ice cream. Hold on. Woo! Back again, again. I'm back at it again. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter though. A bitch got life for money. I got life for money. Yeah, so first I'll show you kind of what I wanted and then versus what I ended up getting. And by getting, I mean that he just kind of did whatever the heck he wanted on my arm. So I can't find the actual picture I sent him because I um, got a new Facebook since, since them or since uh, talking with him. But this is kind of the style I wanted. No shading, just, just clean line work sent him a lot of pictures of like the different types of Music tropical leaves that I really wanted incorporated in there. He, he did not spend the whole time drawing up a tattoo because he ended up freehanding the tattoo. And this is where I should have seen the red flags. I saw the red flags, but I didn't say anything. All of my other tattoos that I have are, were stencils because they are line work, no shading. But he kept telling me, trust the process, like, you know, and he's a professional, so why wouldn't I believe him? I have never gotten, like, a big tattoo before. So this was what my arm looked like immediately after the appointment. Very dark. I asked for no shading, and he shaded a lot. And he did tell me, oh, I'm just going to shade a little because I'm worried that you won't be able to tell what it is. And I was like, okay, very minimal shading. I'm fine with that. But this is not minimal at all. 
I just want to see, I just want you guys to see how the flow of the tattoo makes no sense. And you'll see in the back, I had stopped him from going any further because I was not liking it. This is what it looks like now after eight sessions of laser removal. What's a basic bitch tattoo? I fucking love art on arse. Bro, bro. I love art on arse. Love art on arse. Or enter here, insert here on the arse, arse bro. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. You've seen that one? Insert here on top of the arse. This is my summer body. You will see this body in two pieces. You will see it in crop tops and short dresses and skirts. Yes, and if you don't like it, oh well, sue me. <laughs> Oof, she sounds like a man. Uh, Kayla, how do your parents feel that you're with me? Um, I don't know because I don't get to talk to them. Why don't they talk to you? Um, my dad hasn't talked to me since I got the neck tattoo. My mom. So wait, neck tattoos aren't allowed? No, it's just so that it's your face. Oh, it's my face, my good-looking face. I got you. <laughs> what else? Um, you call me a loser. Hey, by the way, if the dad's watching this, bro, do I make a lot of money? Yes. All right. I don't know how that makes me a loser. I'm not the one to play with. Wait, what were we going to say, though? So you haven't talked to you what? Um, I talk to my mom here and there, but our relationship is always like that. Uh, she don't care about the tattoo, though. Do you like your dad or mom better? My dad. All right. Dad, she misses you, bro. <laughs> Step up, bro. Be the dad. That's Be the nice. dad she wants. So over the past few years, as tattoos have become more popular, studies have actually shown that tattoos are associated with negative health-related outcomes and risky behaviors. Medical professional societies have noted that tattoos may co-occur with high-risk behaviors. We find that the presence, number, and specific features of tattoos are positively correlated with two of the health-related outcomes if they were ever diagnosed with mental health issue, or if they had trouble sleeping. And they were also correlated with three of the risky behaviors, current smoking, ever spent time in jail or prison, and number of sex partners. Magnitudes are larger for those with multiple visible and offensive tattoos. I, I would ask. This, this, my dad is he's a criminal. He's a big criminal. Oh, he is, yeah, he's yeah, yeah like, like okay, okay. everyone knows he's not a very good person, so. So why, why did your mom pick him? She was 15 and she had a baby and he used to put guns to her head and stuff and he used to make her just do things. She was scared. He used to threaten to kill my nan, kill the family. Wait, she, dog. She had, the baby, was it you or a different baby? Just me. That's oh, the only one. Oh, but she had to pick him like before that. Yeah, she did. But she was young. She was yeah. a kid still. I was 15. I'm, yeah. I'm, Where was her dad? That, that was my next. <laughs> he turned gay. He, he what? He was gay. So he was with my nan. And then, this is a crazy yeah, story. yeah, this is crazy, and this is what I'm trying to get over in my life. So, um, my nan was with my granddad for fucking 18 years, and then found out he was gay. He left the family, moved to a different country, and then obviously my nan's parents died around that time. So my mum lost um, grandparents, and then she had me. She went. She went to uni. My mom's a qualified heart nurse now. So she, to me, she did well for everything that we did go through as a family. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and do you think your life would be different if you had two parents in your life? Definitely. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. But this I, is I don't why, have that guidance right, or support. But this is why it's so important on women to choose correctly. Mm. Because if you don't choose correctly, it affects everyone else. Yeah. It's not just like yeah. when we pick someone. It's really not about us. It's about our kids. Because if you true. have kids with the wrong guy, like you. you now, like, you know, you're in a situation where, you you know, you've done sex work yeah. and it's going to be harder for you and, like... It, the, yeah, definitely. The, and the trauma, like, continues. Yeah, it's like a one big slap. Welcome to the Man Key Dating Channel, where we talk about the feminist movement mixed with female liberation in today's dating market. Please click the subscribe button, please like the video, and be nice as you come along with me on my learning journey as a single mother dating a high-value man.